Hi guys, it's finally the morning. So basically today I'm getting my rhinoplasty done, which is basically a nose job. Well, it's actually rhinoplasty. And... It's a rhinoceptoplasty, yeah. which is a bit of both. So it uh, involves completely destroying your nose and then putting it back into shape. This is because when I was a little kid, um, back when I was like three, I fell on some wooden planks and my nose just got absolutely demolished and yeah, broke it really bad, so. But he was too young to have it done back then and they said it wouldn't grow properly. Yeah, so I wasn't able to do anything. They just put it in, sort of tried to put it in, in, back in place, but yeah, not very well. The time has come. Yes, I'm very scared. <laughs> I think I have to wear um, a bandage, uh, like a cast over my nose for about a week and then it's gonna take about two to three weeks for the um, like the bruises under my eyes to go as well and then for full recovery so for like the final look of the nose it's, it's, it's quite actually quite a long time it's about six months until the all the tissue and cartilages heal properly so yeah, a little bit scary, and I'll, I will be going to sleep under anaesthetic. This is my nose right now. We're gonna do. We've done before pictures, and we're gonna do after pictures. Yeah. No, no. Is it right nostril? Yeah. Um. Yeah. We'll see how it looks after. Alrighty, guys. Um. Until next update, I guess. <laughs> I've just dropped Dilly off at the hospital. It is currently eight in the morning. I don't think it'll be done for quite some time. Hopefully like in a week's time when the swelling and the bruising has gone down, then he'll feel like, oh, like he can update you guys on the process because obviously other people have nose jobs and this might be quite helpful to see like how it goes and like what his thoughts on it. Um, obviously it's different for everyone. Hey vlog squad, I'm back. I'm back from a long day at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. But yeah, this is my new nose. Well, still the same nose, it's just been broken and put into place and uh, now I can hopefully breathe again and hopefully it's gonna look straight. By the way, also I'm not allowed to make emotions, so it's like, uh, that's why my face is so still because I can't move anything. And here's Shauna, she's made me a smoothie. She's looking after me. <laughs> Strawberry and banana smoothie for the poor boy. Yeah, this is like the only thing I've ate in 24 hours. And you can't really see right now. But look how much more even. Yeah, they look so much more even already. Yeah, so to be honest, not that bad. For anyone thinking about it, don't be scared because it's not a pain that you can't like, ah, oh, you know, like can't even talk as, as otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. He literally, how long after, he FaceTimed me after having surgery. How long after was that? Straight away. It's literally straight away within like 10 minutes. He's like, do you want to FaceTime? I was like, okay. Yeah. Probably should have said this at the start, but for everyone, everyone wondering what I had done was a, I can't remember if I said this before, uh, is a rhinoceptoplasty. So a rhinoplasty is what everyone pretty much knows because that's when you alter the look of your nose. And what they did is they took out cartilage from this side of the nose and put it onto this side of the nose because my nose was heavily skewed like that to my right. And they attempted to make it look even. So I've got stitches through the top of my nose uh, here which should dissolve and shouldn't leave a scar, he said. It's cartilage that he's cut off from this side and added to this side. And then a septoplasty is the adjustment of the middle part, so like the cartilage and the bone. So they did that also because it was also very bent, so I won't go into too much detail of how they do it, but yeah, it's not the best. It's a, quite a graphic procedure if you want to find out where it looks like. Just uh, I'm sure you can YouTube it, but I wouldn't recommend if you're getting it done as it would put you off. <laughs> Overall, Pain, again, depends on your pain tolerance. Say it out of 10 for how you feel. How I feel right now is just very weak and tired, but pain-wise, like a three, it's not that painful. Any questions you guys have, drop them down below, and I just want to answer them on, our, on our Instagram or something, or on here. We can make another video about it if you like. How soon do you think you'll do an update? Uh, I think next Monday. Um, like I'm a week, yeah. I'm getting my dressings off, so I'm getting the top bit off and uh, then we'll see how it looks. It will take about four weeks to pretty much settle and then about six months to completely finish just because of how the tissue can heal and stuff like that. And the scary fact actually, 20% um, or well, 10 to 20% of people who have rhinoceptoplasty will require surgery again because of how it grows back. 
It's just my the way God. it is. It's just the way it is. Anyway, I'm very happy with how it went. Although, the only bad thing is, um, Ted's not allowed to sleep in our bed for two weeks now. <laughs> because um, he is most likely going to jump on his face, because he does it all the time. Yeah, when we sleep, what happens is, if these were the pillows at the back, um, he will usually ever sleep like this. <laughs> Like around our heads. Or like right here. Or like next. sleeping next to us. Alright then, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the update. I hope I gave you some useful information on the procedure and how it goes. But any questions? Like I said, let me know. We'll be able, we'll answer them in the comments or make a separate video, whatever. Nice one. See you guys soon. Adios. So it has been five days since Illy had his nose surgery. Ted. <laughs> And let's just say he has been bed bound ever since he had the surgery. Well, okay, he's left the house a couple of times and um, nearly passed out. So that's not good. I think today he's actually feeling a little bit better. I mean, I think he said the pain when he first had it done was like a, did you say a three? Yeah. A three. Okay, so that night he woke me up at one or two in the morning and then every hour after that. And he woke me up and the, I think the pain level was off the scale because he he was in a lot of pain. And yeah, every day since then he's been feeling like that as well. So not to scare anyone if you're thinking of having um, a nose job like rhinoplasty or septo rhinoplasty, but it's not all plain sailing. Sorry if you can hear Ted running around like crazy. It's um, going to be worth it in the end, but the first week at least is tough. He hasn't slept properly in five nights. Last night he got up at least nine times in the night. I mean, I wake up every time and I'm not complaining because I'm not the one in pain. But like, yeah, we've not, we've not been sleeping. <laughs> Hopefully next time when we come back to you with an update, he will be feeling a lot better. And he'll be able to show you how the progress is going and his pain will be back to a 3 out of 10 or a 0 out of 10 hopefully hi guys so it's been now two weeks since my nose surgery i still can't breathe through my nose but it is looking much straighter now you're slowly getting your taste back aren't you oh yeah yeah i'm slowly getting my taste back as well and uh i can kind of breathe now it's not fully blocked but i can't use my nose to breathe. But he, he is snoring horrifically. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just horrible. We're just, sorry, we're in a coffee shop, it's really loud. It's just horrible breathing through your mouth when you sleep in. It just gets so dry. But other than that, progress is going well. So, for someone who's thinking of getting a nose job, or is getting one, what, what advice would you give? Or what are the top three things you'd say about it? Said so be prepared for no probably sleep. two weeks of no sleep. Stuff. Be prepared not, to not be able to taste anything for about well, two weeks, I'd say. Because for some reason, when your nose is blocked, or not blocked, but when they damage your nose, all your senses go really weird and you can't smell or taste. Other than that, just yeah, look, just enjoy recovery. Just, uh, you know. Is it worth it? I don't know yet. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully, it's worth it. So yeah, it'll be right. So that's that's my advice. Take it easy guys and uh, peace out.